Today I will show you the basic multimeter functions here on BAA Electronics. The first basic multimeter function is the AC voltage. AC stands for alternating current and electrical plugs are good sources of alternating current. We can view how much alternating current is in a plug using the AC function on the multimeter as showing a basic a wall outlet is pushing about 120 volts. The next basic multimeter function is direct current measuring. Now, as you can see I built this little circuit here and we can measure how much voltage is going through this. This is DC power alkaline batteries. So we switch it on and the motor comes on and it's showing it's pushing about 3 volts DC. A random resistor out of my bin. Resistors are non-polarized so you can put them in either way. So as you can see I put in this resistor. It's showing it's about 118 ohms. Now the next is continuity. On my multimeter they're both the same dial function so that button. It should show a sound wave because mo most multimeters will emit a beep if continuity is, is enabled. And so I'm going to touch my two pins together. So it measures if, if uh, the amount of ohms between it or if there is just plain connection. The next basic multimeter function is milliamps and amps DC. I'm going to use it to test an alkaline battery. So this battery has about 600 six, 625 milliamps DC. That's not right. Man, nah, that's what it says. Something's wrong with it. Forget it. Temperature. So I'm measuring in Fahrenheit. It's got the thermocouple. Goes into the comm and a temperature probe. So let me get a better view here. Give me that camera. Alright, so so you can see my air temperature is about uh, 70 degrees and uh, oh high poker and I'm going to put the thermocouple into the aquarium see the water is about 73 degrees there's the heater over there I'm going to go put this thermocouple on the heater sure enough it's getting hotter it's getting warmer as it goes over to the heater and that is the basic multimeter functions of the big giant multimeter. I have a smaller one, but your multimeter may vary. If you're uh, what to you know test those things, I would recommend an auto ranging multimeter like this little one. On manual multimeters, you have to select the range of voltage the range of voltage that you're doing. Both of these are automatic ranging multimeters. On the dial would be a lot more. So automatic multimeters are just uh, easier to set. So that's the basic multimeter functions. See you later. Alright poker, I'll give you some food!